您是北京的志愿者吗？志愿者。您是哪个学校？您是学习学生吗？不是学生，我们是记者。您是记者吗？哦，小朋友，你要对灾区有什么说的吗？嗯，真真的祝愿他们，就是说能把家园重新建起来。谢谢。哎，我我抱一下，行吗？两边一边又拉一边的，你好，好，好，好，谢谢，嗯，好，谢谢，谢谢。Scientists have long understood the mechanism that causes earthquakes, but the exact timing and location of future earthquakes cannot be predicted. On May 12, 2008. A magnitude 7.9 earthquake struck western Sichuan province in China. This earthquake occurred in a region where magnitude 7.9 earthquakes were not expected. Ground shaking is often the most hazardous aspect of large magnitude earthquakes. Man-made structures such as buildings, bridges, and dams are quite vulnerable to strong ground shaking, and the damage to these buildings will cause severe losses to the human population. If man-made structures were built to be more resistant to earthquake hazards, this would considerably reduce earthquake risk. An increasingly important field in seismology is earthquake forecasting. This is similar to weather forecasting, whereby seismologists will provide an estimate of the likelihood of an earthquake above a certain magnitude occurring in a given time frame, say 10 or 20 years. For example, a seismologist may estimate a 60% likelihood of a magnitude 7 or greater earthquake in the Sichuan area in the next 10 or 20 years. The Chinese Ministry of Civil Affairs has embarked on a major reconstruction effort in Sichuan, China. They are rebuilding millions of residences, schools, factories, hospitals, bridges, and other aspects of the、uh, infrastructure. While it's not possible to predict when the next earthquake will occur. We can say with certainty that the ground shaking can be very high. The Wenchuan earthquake resulted in seismic intensity 11, which is very severe, whereas only seismic intensity 7 was anticipated. All future buildings in this region should be designed to withstand at least earthquake ground shaking intensity 11. So that the people of Sichuan will be safe when the next earthquake strikes. <laughs>